Hello everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Mana to Glory. Uh, I'm showing you some intros of this save before we start. So the first thing we'll do is uh, show you the history of the club I'm going to be managing. I am managing my beloved Oxford United, a club that I've grown up with for about 20-30 years. And I was actually born 200 yards away from the old ground, which was then the Manor ground. Um, Oxford United are based now in the Kassam Stadium in Sandford, which is South Oxford, but again, they were based originally at the Manor Ground in Headington. Uh, but let's go first about a little history about Oxford first. Oxford was first settled by Anglo-Saxons. We're in Southern England here, uh, Southern England in a county called Oxfordshire. Oxford is the chief town of Oxfordshire. Uh, it was known as Oxen Ford, meaning Ford of the Oxen, basically where the Oxen met. They met at a Ford and it became Oxford. Now, this is a true fact. Around the time of this recording, Assassin's Creed uh, Valhalla was uh, just being released. It's been released for about a week or so. And Oxen Ford does actually feature it in the game. Uh, the name is slightly different because I think it's the Vikings term of Oxford but uh, it's one of the furthest um, western counties you can actually play. I've actually got the game but I haven't got that far yet. But there you go, that's a quick history about Oxford themselves. Uh, Oxford United is obviously the side I'm going to. Oxford United is an English professional football club. We're based in the city of Oxford in Oxfordshire. The league plays in League One, uh, the third tier of the English football league system. So that basically means there's two more divisions above before you get to the Premier League. Premier League is one. Championship and then League One's where we are. The chairman is that guy there. I can't pronounce his surname, but his nickname is Tiger. And he's been around for a few years. The the current manager of United is Carl Robinson. Obviously, I'm going to be the new manager, not him. And the team captain is John Mazzino. Now, Oxford were founded in 1893 as Headington United, uh, but Oxford adopted its current name back into 1960. The reason being because um, they were Southern League champions for a while and they applied to join the league and uh, the English League said um, yes but people might not know where you are uh, because they've probably never heard of um, Headington United. So Oxford applied to change their name from Headington United to Oxford United and in 1960 and they were accepted to do so. The problem with this was that uh, Oxford already had a team. Uh, Oxford City, the team that's actually been recently famous for knocking out Northampton in the FA Cup. They are actually the oldest uh, Oxford football team in the league. But Oxford City actually put their foot down and said, no, no, we're, we're the main team in Oxford. You're not allowed to take the Oxford name. And then the, the people at Oxford United said, well, who are the side that's just gone into the English league? It's us, isn't it? Not you. And they kind of said, Oh right, yes. So Headington United became Oxford United in 1960. They applied to join the Football League in 1962 uh, after winning the Southern Football League quite a few times. Uh, and in 1962 they actually replaced Accrington Stanley, that famous club. Ironically, uh, something like 30 or 40 years later in 2004 when Oxford sadly got relegated to the non-league, we stayed in Long League between 2004 to about 2011. Uh, the side that replaced us back into the league was Accrington Stanley, and that is a true fact. So Oxford and Stanley have this kind of like a friendly relationship uh, every time we play them and stuff like that. Um, we have won many trophies in its past. Oxford um, went, I think the f best period for Oxford United was in the 80s, between 1982 to 1987, 1988, when Oxford rose up the leagues and went into the then Division 1, which is now our equivalent of the Premier League, which they stayed there for about three seasons. During this time, they won their only real big trophy, which was the uh, League Cup, which is called the Carbero Cup now. They won that in 1986. They were the underdogs and they beat QPR. Another ironic story is the manager that took them up into the uh, Division 1 and also to the League Cup final was a certain Jim Smith. Jim Smith who's very famous with Newcastle and other teams. Um, but a couple of weeks before the League Cup final, when Oxford didn't know they were going to get to the League Cup final, Jim Smith left Oxford to join, become the manager of Queen's Park Rangers, QPR. So when Oxford were then led out of Wembley uh, by their new manager, Morris Evans, who was the assistant manager to Jim Smith, um, 
he led out his team next to Jim Smith, who was leading out the QPR team. Ironic story. Well, Oxford won that League Cup 3-0, but they could not go into Europe the next year because of the English high school ban. Um, but that was one of their biggest trophies. The club got relegated to the conference in 2006 and became the first winners of a major trophy to be relegated to the Football League. Uh, we returned to the Football League actually back in 2010 when we beat York City in the playoffs 3-1. So um, since then we have been to Wembley another two times, which we were played in, it was then called the Johnston Trophy, which we actually lost twice. We lost to uh, Barnsley and then we lost to Coventry. So we had actually been to Wembley now I think four times in total and we've won two games and we've lost two games but that's uh, I've chosen to be Oxford United for this first YouTube series because back in uh, Football Manager 2020 um, I did a Man to Glory series there and it carried on for about five six episodes and I enjoyed it I just want to see what the game is like now obviously there's been many changes to the game and also how well I'm going to do so what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you um, the game. So we're going into the game. So if you just bear with me because I have to turn some screens off. There we go. And we'll say hello to my the manager. So this is him. Uh, obviously, it's kind of based on me. Uh, I put the same age. Um, he's a little bit thinner, actually, though. Um, but he's quite tall. He looks quite smart. He doesn't wear a tie. He's wearing glasses, I wear glasses as you can see, and yeah, it's all pretty good. So we haven't actually started the game. This, the game will start in the next couple of episodes. This was just some introduction to the save. And um, we'll have an initial look at the squad at the moment. Here's the squad. It's currently the 29th of June, 2020, so we're still in pre-season here. This is the team which we'll look more closely at at the next episode and we'll go through all the players and we'll do some initial um, what players we're going to keep, what players we're not going to keep. And we're also, this is the tactics we're going to use, the, concert, the concerto tactic. This is not one of my own tactics, but um, I wanted to see if this was working because this was working very well in my beta save. Um, and then we got a bit of about the club info. Here's the club info again. So our clean team captain is this guy here, John Mazzino. And now I've always had a history of getting rid of this player very early. So this, this might probably happen in this save. Uh, our key player is Cameron Brannigan. He used to play for Liverpool. And you can see there he's rated valued at 2.3 million. So it's going to be pretty difficult to try and get hold of him. Um, keep hold of him. Um, but if we do need money, then we could sell him. And our hot prospect is a certain Rob Atkinson and uh, he looks really good and really good defender there um, we've suddenly got our money situation is actually pretty decent we've got about 2.5 million in the bank for oxford which is actually pretty decent for us uh, oxford has been well known to have financial problems in fact we nearly went bankrupt in the early 80s but got saved by a certain robert maxwell um, and then we had some more financial difficulties in the 2000s and we bought by a then chairman Firos Kassam. The stadium is called the Kassam Stadium, but um, um, that's one thing I have changed in the game using the editor. I've actually changed the name to the new manor in honour of the manor ground, which was Oxford's old home. And the strip is yellow for the home strip, then the kind of orange for the away strip, and then the third kit is the white strip. And also, that's one thing. I could show you is actually the stadium. So let's go through all these screens. So just bear with me for a second. There we go. Oops. This is the stadium. This is the Kassam Stadium. So we're just going to have a virtual tour around the stadium. So this is quite clever. How um, it's always good to show you what the stadium actually looks like before we actually uh, start the game. So we'll just turn the camera around. There it is. The stadium is well famous for only having three stands. And uh, if we look from straight view here, 
this is the uh, famous E stand, that's the north stand here and that's the south stand. I've actually been to a couple of games myself and I actually went to the south stand I always, I was around about there if you can think about it and yeah it looks pretty good. Um, there was always going to be a fourth stand but because um, the actual attendance was, the attendance of the grounds is about 12,500 but because we never really got to that much they thought they only will build the fourth stand if needed so the Kassan Stadium or the Manor as I'm going to call it, the new Manor stadium capacity would be really around 16,000 but at the moment it's currently about 12,500 I think in game it's about 12.3k if I can memory serves me right so let, we'll head straight back to the game Again, I need to press certain buttons here. And here we go, yeah, back to the game. So this is just an introduction episode to the YouTube series. The next episode will be pre-season where we'll go through the initial players and what we're going to do with each players. And then we'll take it from there. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next episode.